Shalom, 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 Shalom. Giving our praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahushai by Hashem, Haraka, Kwadash, double honors to all the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone and salutes to all 144,000 elect at the judgments. Judgments will start in the house of Yahweh. So here's an article from the NBC News. Man who tried to shoot pastor during live, live stream service is charged in uh, Cousin's death the same day. Okay, so Bernard Jr. Polite, Polite 26 was charged with criminal homicide in connection with the shooting and deletion of his cousins. Uh, Derek uh, Derek Polite 56 who was found deleted Sunday All right, and I ain't gonna show it um, you know to avoid any unnecessary stupidity from YouTube but I've got the frozen image there man walks into a shop into the church attempted church shooting and it was live on live stream he didn't get he didn't um the, the gun jammed the gun jammed and um, they apprehended the man uh, as well as some someone came and a couple of people came and then the pastor eventually um, after his shock and horror they all, they all apprehended the man but the gun did jam so most uh, at, that, at that point in time you know man's going to love the Lord but um, a sobering warning to all you false pastors that's going to be the title of this Sobering warning to all you false pastors, judgment is coming and it will start in the house of God. A Venezuela, uh, Venezuela man who tried to shoot a pastor during a sermon that was being live streamed early this week has been additionally charged with homicide, accused of fatally shooting his cousin the same day. Alright, so someone else, someone else was deleted either before, probably before. He tried to delete this guy, shoot his cousin. All right, Bernard Jr. of Braddock was arrested Sunday afternoon after he pointed a gun at Pastor Klen, German, at uh, Jesus. I don't even I don't even like saying the word. At Jesus dwelling place church, right? Yeah, but um, scripture says that um, most I don't do that dwelling temples made with hands. We gonna hit a couple of precepts too. Right, dwelling place church. <laughs> he ain't dwelling there in the 400 block of Lobinga Avenue in um, such and such county, about 10 miles east of Sundown, Petersburg, just after 1 p.m. So, um, when was this? Let's see, no date, but it wasn't that long ago, it was um, about a week or so ago this happened. So, it's fresh off the press, fresh off the press. Yeah, the terrifying confrontation was captured on, on the church live stream, but the gun appeared to have jammed and failed to discharge, says the, uh, the state police said, Venezuela state police. Polite was pinned down and uh, disarmed by the church deacon and the pastor until police arrived and arrested him. After f uh, family members saw reports of that church incident, they went to his residence in in the 500 block of Stoke Avenue where he lived with his cousin Derek Derek Polite 56 to check on his well-being and found the elder Polite deceased the alleged county police department was called cool, so there you go there you have it man you know I did I did check some of the um see if there's any emojis on this <laughs> see there it is see I don't need to play it. I don't need to play it, but um, the man shock horror. You know, shock horror, sobering, sobering um, shock horror judgment coming to you, false pastors. Yeah. Right. So none of them are going to escape. All these false pastors with the mega churches. Here's Joel Osteen here. There was a shooting in his church not too long ago. Joel Osteen and um, some woman which we know is spirit, soul, spirit, crave for vengeance. Some examples here of people being, some of them might be just fake or we call it um, distractions or um, whatever the case may be. But um, 
you know, judgment will start in the house of, of the Most High. Yeah, this is what happened in the, um, in the mega church. Yeah, the graphic um, shooting in the mega church of Joe Osteen. New videos released shows gunfire erupted at Joe Osteen. This was, this was a couple of months ago. Oh, see what happened here too. I've done a video on this. Right, this happened to one of the um some bishop, and he he the a man came in his church, and did did get him did stab him, but I think he survived. So thank the Lord. Yeah. <laughs> this is happening. This is what is happening. This is what's happening to these churches, right? So let me just get some precepts, and end it off. Yeah, there's a recent one as well here, right? This is fresh off the press. Yeah, uh, um, Venezuela. Right, a man, a young boy was apprehended also, tried to shoot, went into one of these churches here and tried to shoot up um, the um, the priest. Who knows why? Who knows why? They're still doing the investigations, but um, was it a, um, a false flag, as, as they say? Right, see all the, all the recent ones. This is all, this is all recent things happening here. Judgment will start in the house of, of the Lord. And that ultimately, the house of the Lord is Israel. The false churches, the false Christians, the false um, prophets, and the false um, alphabet camps that are teaching and pushing falsehood. So let's get that. And we're going to end off the video. These are judgments of the Lord. Sobering, sobering um, shock. Sobering shock. Sobering judgment coming down the pipe for the false pastors. First Peter four and seven he says for this for the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of Yahweh, and if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of the most high? Judgments, man. Sobering judgments is coming to you, pastors. Right? This is a sobering wake up call. Of what is going to be coming down the pipe for you, for you false pro preachers, false pastors, false prophets. Sobering wake up call. What is to come down the pipe for you, false prophets, false pastors, liars and thieves. Just to say it correctly, right? So Second Peter two, we're going to end it off with a couple of precepts. And one says, but there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privately shall bring in damn damnable heresies, even denying the Most High, that brought them and bring upon themselves swift destructions. Well, man, that's why you see these things arising. The presence of this is all the presence of the Lord, bringing themselves swift destructions. Yeah. Sobering judgments is coming. Sobering wake up call coming is coming to you, false prophets, bringing themselves, um, bringing damned heresies. Yeah, those heresies are false, false um, teachings, and we're hearing some new. There's always new ones coming out. You know, um, Esau ain't the white man. You know, he ain't the white man. Um, he doesn't love Jacob. He loves. He loves E. Or he doesn't hate ease, all kinds of false heresies, denying the name that there is going to be an overturning in the um, kingdom. The, the ease are going to rise up after a thousand years in the kingdom when we've established our rule. That's a false heresy. All these false heresies, you know. So um, yeah, they took the bag. You would you would say, you would say by those stupid simple damnations, condemnations, damned in strong delusions, you would say, you the conclusion you will come to is that they must have took the bag. It's just too stupid. Right? So that's the judgment starting in the house of the Most High. Right? Among you who privately shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the law that brought them and bring upon themselves swift destruction. Apparently the, the man who was doing it said that um, he was told to do it. The man that attempted to delete the pastor who was apprehended by the deacon saying that um, um, a spirit told him to do it. So that's in line with, with um, scripture. You know, an angel or something to that effect told him to do it. So that would be um, um, Sirach, 30, Sirach 39 and 28. Spirits crave for vengeance. The spirit told him to do it. 
and he did it. But the Mosai, this time around, <laughs> allowed him. So let's get Acts 13, because this was just all it was was a sobering, sobering wake up call for you, false pastors, to see the Mosai is not happy with you of what is going to come down the pipe. A sobering wake up call. You see that? Did he, did, did he sober up though? Is he going to stop? Is he going to stop um, at the adultery that is no doubt doing or abusing the using the most high? Using the name? Is he going to stop? Or is he going to um, carry on? Well, there's a sobering wake up call for him. You see? There you have it, Akim. Acts 17 and 24 says, The most high. Yeah? That made the world and all things therein, seeing that he is Lord of heaven and earth dwelling not dwelleth not in temples made with hands neither is worshipped with men's hands as though he needed anything seeing he is given to all life and breath and all things there we go there you go he doesn't dwell in those temples man that's why we out there when we bring this truth out there we bring out the, the ultimate 100 percent truth to the masses out there on the highways and the byways man most i don't dwell in churches and for all of us that were for those of us that were brought up in churches, we know that 100% he doesn't dwell in them places. All the all the things that they do, the swine that they love to yam, the adultery that they love to do, all form of sin, you know, the backbiting, all wickedness that goes on in these churches. It's self-evident he doesn't dwell in those those temples made with hands, right? So Jeremiah 23 and one says, "Whoa." Be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, saith the Lord. Right? He said, Woe unto them, yeah? Wherefore, thus saith the Lord God of Israel, against the pastors that feed my people, ye have scattered my flock, and have driven them away, and have not visited them. Be right. Visited them with the truth. Right? Brought them the truth. Because you ain't got the truth. You know, that's why the most say, Mosai says, Woe unto them, which means destruction unto the unto the pastors. They destroy and scatter. That's what they do. Right? They destroy and scatter. Reading on in two. Wherefore, thus saith the Lord God of Israel, against the pastors, he's against you. Yeah, that feed my people, you have scattered my flock, and have driven them away, and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit I will visit upon you the evil of your doing save the Lord so that's why these churches now they're being visited it's all sobering to you false pastors A sobering wake up call to all you false prophets you're now being visited giving our praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai Bashem Kodash so much more uh, precepts I could have brought out but I think the point is made Right, the Most High saying, "Woe unto these pastors!" Right, that's why you see in the visitations of these, he's sending his spirits created for vengeance to them. That's why you see in all these type of things happening. And it wasn't that that one recently. There's been three recently. I, I think the three was within a, at least six weeks, round about. At least have been about three, and maybe there's more that I'm um, not on mainstream, but there's a lot. So that's what the Most High said. Right? This is a sobering wake-up call to all you false pastors that prophesy falsehood and, and heresies to the people because he, Mosiah says that you're scattering his people and he ain't pleased with you. So the water to your Bashim Shaf put the spirit on me to do this video once again. That's it, man. Enough said. Mosiah said, whoa, destruction is coming. Sobering judgment, sobering wake-up call to all you false pastors. So shallow arm to us and see how can we on to the next.